Hey there, I'm KJ Walker from Decentraland and Low Poly Models World, and today we're going to learn about reducing file sizes for Decentraland. As you may already know, we can upload a maximum of 15 megabytes of data per parcel. So reducing the size of your files lets you add more content to your scene and is a big part of building for Decentraland. So let's get into it. There are a number of things you can do to reduce your file size, and you'll probably want to use a combination of these techniques. First off, it's good to check that you haven't exported any unnecessary data. When exporting a GLB, there are different boxes which can be checked and unchecked. So if you have a model without animations, make sure the animation box is unchecked. Also, make sure you aren't exporting any scene lights or cameras by accident as these won't add anything to your Decentraland scene other than problems. To do this easily, hide the objects you don't want to export, then press A to select everything that's visible, and in the GLB export settings, check the box which says Export Selected. Next, you want to reduce the amount of meshes in your scene as much as possible. If you have a model with a lot of separate entities, it will be heavier than the same model with the meshes joined. To join meshes, select the objects you want to combine and press Ctrl or Command J. The more meshes you can combine in Blender, the lighter your model will be. However, be careful with this process as it can change the UV mapping of some objects, making the textures look wrong. Remember, the models in Blender can be smooth shaded or flat shaded or somewhere in between, and these properties will be shared by any objects you join. So if you join some smooth objects to some flat objects, they will either all be smooth or all be flat, depending on the order in which you selected the models. If that causes problems with your design, you can just join smooth objects to other smooth objects, and the same with flat shaded models. Another way to reduce the amount of data in a scene is to make sure materials are being shared by the different models. When creating models, materials can sometimes get duplicated rather than simply being applied to a new model. You can see this when your material name has a suffix on it with 0 .001, 0 .002, 0 .003, etc. As these materials are the same, we don't want to recreate them for each model, but rather have one material for all of them. To do that, select a model and check its materials. If any of them ends in something like 0 .001, select that material and change it for the original material. If you do this with all of your models, the exported GLB will be significantly lighter. Loading times can be greatly improved by using any of these textures on GitHub. They are loaded into the engine by default, so don't need to be downloaded by the avatars who are visiting your scene. Last but not least, it's possible to reduce the size of image textures, and this probably has the greatest effect on file size. When changing the size of the image, make sure to follow the size limitations which work in Decentraland. You can find a list of those linked below. If you combine these techniques, I'm sure you can make your files lighter without losing too much quality. Those are the main things to know about reducing 3D file sizes. If you'd like to learn more about building for Decentraland, you can take a look at this playlist. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please put them in the comments section below. Check out the box below for links to relevant documentation and feel free to visit my website, Low Poly Models World.